Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Factorio Workshop. As always, I'm here with Zuri on his stream again. Greetings. And uh, today it's going to be another pretty short video, but we're going to go over uh, Zuri's smart train loader. Uh, a video or two ago we went over a smart unloader that would unload things evenly, and uh, this is pretty much the exact opposite. So you can pretty much go over all this. It's really hard for me to show what's going on. But uh, basically all the boxes are wired together with green on one wire. Uh, a second green wire wires all of the inserters together. And then there's a red wire going from our connecting each box inserter pair. Right. And then we then, yeah, we then take the boxes as input to this arithmetic combinator and then output to the inserters using green wires. Right, and uh, conditions uh, condition for the combinator, we're just using each divided by negative 24, um, 24 being the number of chests, and then we're just outputting um, the same, which in this case is each. And uh, looks like you've also, you also, um, connect this other side to it so it all works as a unit so you have a green wire going from this inserter to this inserter and then from the chest to the other chest and then this is all wired together just like this side correct perfect so um so yeah what this is going to do is as you can see it all the chests are for the most part pretty evenly loaded it's uh, going to load all of them evenly um for the most part once we connect this um the inserters will essentially uh, base the fact if they're going to grab something or not on like the amount in all these other chests so that they're all lo loaded about evenly. There's a few here that seem to get a little borked. Yeah, it's close enough. And one of the problems is the stack size bonus throws off things like this since you can't tell it to just grab one. Mm hmm And, uh... We, we... Also an important condition to, to set is that on the inserters, it has to be less than its stack size bonus. So if you were to do this with uh, stack inserters, you'd have to set that to 12. Or if you had a lower tech level, you could set that to 1 or 2. Right. And, uh, and we're using everything so that this can be multi-purpose. Uh, However, you did mention to me that uh, you need to make sure your belts don't ever get mixed because with it set to everything, if like any other item um, besides what's supposed to be on here gets on here, it'll just mess up the entire system. Yeah, if, if say one insert grabbed four pieces of copper or something, it'll lock out that box forever. Yeah, so um, if you want it to, you know, prevent something like that you could just set it to whatever particular thing you're using so like in this case iron ore and uh, should be good or just use filter inserters too would work and really I mean that's about it you can see all these for the most part are pretty much evenly loaded and this is far far more compact than like a evenly split uh, splitter design that you might use to load a train um, this is many, many more times more compact. It also uses a single combinator, which is pretty okay. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's really pretty straightforward, honestly. Even for someone like me who can't do signals with crap. And uh, really, I mean, I think that's it. And it, it will get a little funny once a train pulls up because the train is it's obviously going to empty these chests and then all these inserters like these will constantly be empty while the train's loading so the inserters won't really like follow the condition but then as soon as the train leaves they should all start loading evenly again yes yes all right well i think that's going to be it guys um unless there has anything else to add i uh, believe that'll do it for this video well, that's everything. 
All right. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Comments, questions, concerns, feedback, uh, any builds, leave them down in the comments, and we will catch you next time. Later.